Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen. Thanks for joining me today for this Matt Pilates workout. We'll be working with floor bar, which just means everything will be done on the floor, on the ground, but you will get your full body workout, even without any standing work. What's great about this workout is that you can do it anywhere. As long as you have enough space for your body, lay out a mat, use the carpet, you can do this workout anywhere as long as you have enough space for you. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start on our backs. Lying down on your mat or the carpet. Place your feet against the floor. Place your hands on your belly and just start to engage the belly down into your backbone. And take some deep breaths and feel your belly engage as you breathe through it. Notice the head against the floor, how your shoulders feel, even the contact point of your feet. Then place your hands to the side of your body and open that space under your low back. So you're lifting your ribs, pulling your shoulders down, and then pull that space down in a slight pelvic tilt. So we're warming up that joint in that low back. Now a little faster, open up the ribs, open up the space. Then close the ribs off, tuck the pelvis slightly under. Again, moving through that spine, warming up specifically that low back area. Take that again and lift the ribs, lift the space underneath the low back, and then pull that space back down and in. Take it again and open it up, and roll it back in. As we do two more, remember to incorporate the breathing. That will help warm you. And exhale, push the space down. Take it one more time. Inhale and lift the ribs, lift the space, arching the back and then curve it back under. Now find neutral spine. So you feel that length in your low back without tucking or arching and place your hands behind the back of your head, elbows open. Lifting from your chest and your torso, lower down and lengthen. Lift from your chest and your torso and lower down. Be careful not to pull the head or the neck or even move the neck. Everything should just stay in place. A little faster, pull it up, engaging, and that's the reason your shoulders come up. Slow it down, right arm above your head, and lift and lift and lower and lower. Lift, lift, and lower, lower. Again, lift up, lower, lengthen. That arm should be high above your head, a little faster. Be careful not to fling the movement. Lift. One more. Slow it down, left hand reaches up and slowly engages as you open it back up. And lift and lower. Again, lift up and lower. One more time, slow, a little faster with a lot of control in the movement. And lift up, lift, one more. Slow it down, both arms, chin is a little forward. Open it back up, three more, lift up open it up. That should have woken up the abdominals and warmed up that space one more time. Placing the hands behind the head, lift up and hold. Bring the knees to the chest, extend your legs to the ceiling, drop your right leg down and up. Left leg down and up. One more with the right leg, pull the knees to the chest, pull the elbows up to the knees and release. Chest and shoulders lift. Knees come into the chest, extend the legs straight up, drop the left leg down and up. Scissor the right leg, then the left leg, pull the knees into the elbows, and release back down. Let's go again. Shoulders and chest lift, pull the knees into the chest, extend the legs. Right leg scissors down, rebounds back up, left leg, right leg again. Pull the knees to the chest, engage the elbows, and open it up. One more time, lift, knees come into the chest, extend the legs straight up, left leg drops down, right leg drops down, left leg again, pull the knees in, elbows up, engage, and release down. Place your hands to the side of the body. Slide the heels a little bit away from your hips so there's a little bit of space there. Pull the belly button down into the low back. This next exercise really focuses into the bracing of the belly, lifting your right foot off just barely off the floor so your knee doesn't even change. Put it down. You just release your left leg and set it down. Right leg again, braces down into the belly so everything's flat across those hip bones. This time the right foot lifts barely off. 
Then the left foot joins it, breaks into the belly. Right foot goes down, left foot goes down. Take that again. Right foot goes up, breaks down to the belly. Right foot goes down. A little faster as you walk your feet. Right foot, left foot, right foot down. Keep the neck light, nice and long. Shoulders against the floor. Low back lengthening so that space is gone. One more. Now start with your left foot, slow it down. Left foot comes off, brace the belly, lift the right. Left foot drops down, right foot drops down. So this isn't like the sit-ups where your belly burns. This is that functional bracing work. Again, slowly lift the left, lift the right to brace down, left foot down, right foot down. One more time, slow, left. This is the type of work that if you were to slip or fall or be jarred around, you'd brace that tummy faster up, up. Very functional. Training the belly to brace down when it needs to protect the back. Left foot, right foot. One more time. Left foot, right foot. Good. And release. Place your hands back behind the back of your head. Open up your elbows. We've got a lot of sit-ups coming up here. Please be careful not to move the head and neck but to engage to lift, keeping the space between the chin and the sternum all the time the same. Lift up, right, right knee comes in, right toe touches, right knee comes in, and touch. We're gonna go nice and slow here, engage to lift, open it up. Now in the next one, the right elbow touches the right knee. The knee stays there as you open that elbow to the side. Right elbow, right knee, so we're really catering to that right side abdominal. Take it one more time, little change on the combination, right elbow comes up, left elbow crosses over, right elbow goes back up into the knee, open that elbow out. One more time, slow, right, cross left, up right, open it back up. Little faster combination, nice and smooth, up, cross, up. Lift up and cross and up. Two more times. Up, cross, lift. One more. Now slow it down and cross your left elbow to the right knee. Open the elbow up. Pulling from a different angle, hitting those abdominals in all different angles. Lift and open. One more. Little change on the combination. Lift and cross that left elbow. Kick your right foot, reach up towards your foot. Left elbow touches that knee, opens it up. One more time, slow. Details coming right up. Reach towards the foot, touch the elbow to the knee. Little faster here. Cross and touch and cross and open. Two more. Now as you reach up towards your foot, just reach and touch, kick it up. Again, last two, one more, keep your knees centered at your chest, reposition your hands, elevate your shoulders by engaging the abdominals, relax your head and neck, extend your right leg straight up, it doesn't necessarily need to be straight, but it needs to be up, take your left foot, lift your toes, take your left foot and slide your heel a little bit away, about an inch, and then take it about an inch off the floor, bracing down. Lower your shoulders, zip up the ribcage, lift it back up. Lower the shoulders, lift back up two more times. Very intense work, deep work. Position of the legs, really important. Lift up, good. Let's bring it in and stretch it out long. Go ahead and lift the ribs. Place the hands back behind the back of your head. Push your feet against the floor. As you lift your chest, left knee comes up into the chest slowly. Up, touch that left toe gently down. Lift, remember not to pull on the head and neck, but cinch up the belt, and that's what bring your shoulders up. Again, lift up. Now, left elbow touches left knee. Leave the knee there, open the elbow, come up and touch that left knee. And if you touch the knee, then you know you've gone up as far as you can. One more. Now, come up and touch the knee. As you stay up, cross the right elbow to the left knee. Left elbow comes back up, open it to the floor. One more slow. Left elbow, cross right elbow, left elbow lifts, and a little faster.
faster, same combo. Lift, 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 take it down. Left, right, left, and down. Left, right, left, one more time. Now just the right elbow crosses slowly across and open it. Cross and open two more times. Lift, open, one more. Adding to this combination, right elbow crosses into the left knee. Kick your leg up high, reach up towards your foot. Elbow comes back in and open it to the side. Lift up, cross, reach, touch. Elbow comes in, little faster combination. Up, touch, in, open. Up, touch, in, two more times. Up, touch, in, one more. Now just kick and touch, reach. Lift up and lift once more. Come back down, keep your knee where it is, reposition the hands behind the head. Elevate your shoulders, bracing the belly, and then try to relax your neck. Extend your left leg high, take your right toes and lift, heel pushes forward, and then heel pushes upward, pulling the belly downward. As you elevate your shoulders, brace and ribcage in, lower the shoulders, lift back up. Lower the shoulders, lift it up two more. Lower again, very intense, deep work here. Once more, and lift up. Good, reach it out nice and long, stretch it out. Now bring your knees into your chest, extend, or bring your hands behind your head, lift your shoulders, relax your neck. Flex your feet, push to the diagonal, pull in. You get to choose that angle. The higher, the less intense for the back. The lower, the more challenging. So find something that works well for you. Keep your head up, but now point your toes. Push forward. That should be harder, longer legs. Here, press. Continue to relax your neck, but shoulders are up. Once more, as you come in, open your knees, flex your feet. Press diagonal. Pull it. Press out diagonal. Zip up the ribs, pull down into the belly, lift up through the shoulders, but relax the head, and now point your toes. So you push out through the inner thighs, pull back in. So I mentioned, you're gonna work the whole body today, even though you're not standing. Even the legs as you engage those inner thighs. One more, press and in. Relax and stretch it out nice and long. Imagining a little small yoga ball or bender ball between your legs or under your legs or both. It engages the legs and makes them work and it keeps your legs down. As we do some roll up work here, you don't want your legs to kick up. You want your legs to anchor down. So as you reach your arms above your head and extend your legs, squeeze your legs together, energize them down to the floor. Bring your hands and head up and start looking towards your feet and only come as far as you get stuck. Can't go any further. Then reach back and open it. I call that the little sticky spot. Come up, 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 right where you get stuck, and then come back down. On the next one, try to go about an inch above that little sticky spot. So you're right there. You push your feet down, just a barely coming up, and then down. In the roll up, that is the hardest spot. So we can just really practice that place where you come up just above the stickiness. Keep your feet pressing down. Lift a little higher, come down. Take it one more time. Squeeze your legs, energize them to the floor. Come up just a little higher without rocking. Now let's try to go all the way this time. Forward, you feel yourself get stuck. You come up a little higher. You keep going, keep going, keep going. Reach, and then curl back down. One vertebrae at a time. Peel yourself into the floor. Reach above your head. Bring it forward. Find that little sticky spot. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Lift and lengthen. Come back down one vertebrae at a time. Roll down to the floor. Two more times. Bring it forward. Engage, scoop, lift. Roll down. And we'll go once more. As you roll those 
hands and head forward, engage, brace, lift, lengthen, and curl back down. As you come down, reach and lengthen, roll over onto one hip. It doesn't matter to me which one. We will definitely get them both as we go through this hip combination side series. Hand and arm will be down, head will be resting on it, so there's no tension in your neck today. Hand in front, brace the belly to the back as if you're cinching up all the space between the belly button and the back bone. Once you feel yourself right on your hip, take your top leg just slightly off, and then pull the knee in front of your belly button. You'll feel a lot of weight being pulled forward, like you want to roll forward. Pull into the belly, try to use less of your hand. Then from here, extend and kick your leg forward. Bend it, we're gonna do a lot of kicks here. Try to use the abdominals to support the kick. Forward, in, one more time and we add on. Now kick forward and then use the side of your hip to kick up. Bring it forward, use your belly to control the down, bend your knee back in. Three more, kick forward, kick upward. Forward, such good work for our hip sockets. They get so tight, lifting from different muscles for each kick. Pull it one more time. If it's a kick forward, abdominals should fire. Lift up as your hip. Forward, little change on the kick. Kick forward, kick up, bring it back to the front, down to the other leg. Kick forward again. Aggressively but smoothly, kick downward. Kick it, forward kick, and downward kick. Do that again, kick forward, and down, kick forward one more time, then kick back down, take it around the side and kick to the side. Squeeze your heels together, long legs, feel the energy in your bottom leg too. And again, push up, pull down, once more. Now as you pull up, stay up, bend your knee, Touch gently in front, kick back up. Be careful here not to roll forward right there. Stay right on the top of your hip. Take it one more time and then bring your knee in front without touching, let's put it all together. Kick forward, kick upward. Kick forward, kick downward. Around the side, strong kick, knee touches in front. Kick up, don't touch, let's repeat the pattern again. Fluidly forward kick, sequence upward, forward contract, kick down. Around the side, strong kick, knee touches in front, kick up, don't touch on this one, and we repeat two more times. Kick forward, upward, forward, downward. Around the side, kick it upward, Touch in front, that bottom leg should be nice and engaged and strong. Last time, kick forward, upward. It is our anchor point, that bottom hip and leg. Take it down around the side to kick up. Knee touches gently in front. Kick back up, don't touch, and finish strong. Good, release your leg. Before we do the other side, let's roll back onto our back for a few things. Take your legs long, anchor the legs close together, push them down to the floor, reach up with your hands. Rib cage zips up, belly button pulls down and in, the space between your low back and floor minimizes. In a circle, bring your arms to the right, slowly swing up over your legs, to the left and down. Keep it slowly. Look at what we just found, that little sticky spot right there that we go up and over from the roll up is right there. A little faster, side, lift, side, down. Side, swing, two more. One more, and as we slow this down, go the other direction. Go left, swing up, to the right, and down. Take that again, slowly left, right there over that tough spot, to the right, now, a little bit faster. Side up. Side lift. Side lift. One more. Good. Hold right there. Place your hands down underneath your hips as you bend your knees. 
So now that hip area is supported with your hands, bring your knees to chest. As we just circled our torso, now we circle our legs. Take it to the right side slowly, down forward, around to the left side, and come back up. Keep your legs together as you go again slowly. Now engage a little faster. Right, drop, swing, left. Do it again. Swing to the right, drop down, swing to the left, coming up. One more. As we slow the momentum, slow down the left side. Slow, drop, around the right, and up. Slowly again, go to the left, drop, swing to the right. Now add a little bit of speed here. Go inside, drop, around. Legs close together, always something to think about. One more. Good, bring your knees back in. Take your hands from your hips and just place them to your side. Open up the hands and fingers. Knees now push to a tabletop. Toes up off your legs, slightly forward, knees over hip bones. Belly button in. Both toes go down to the floor. Come back up. Now lift your hips, push them off your hands, and center. So when you center, toes down, come to tabletop, then lift the hips and come to tabletop again. Two more, so make it clean. Every time you come through, you feel that tabletop position. And again, toes go down. This combination is going to progress. If it's too intense, do this one again. Kick forward, lengthen legs. Tabletop, hips go up. Lengthen legs forward. Tabletop, lift. Lengthen, kick forward. Tabletop, hips. One more time and it will change one more time. Progress. Lift the hips. Now this is the hardest version. Keeping the legs straight, kick forward. Then lift the legs, kick up. Then lift your hips with straighter legs and then come down to your back. Lengthen your straighter legs forward. Lift upward. Hips off and hips down. Lengthen legs. Pull up. Hips come up. Hips go down. Last one. Lengthen legs forward. Lift upward. Hips up and hips down. Bring the knees to the chest. Give a nice little tug. Shake your head from side to side. And then roll over onto your opposite hip that you have not done yet. As you lengthen your arm underneath your head, come all the way down and let your neck relax. Bring your hand in front. Squeeze your legs together, get right up onto your hip, push your bottom leg down. Zip up the zipper from your ribs and the belly button to the back space cinches up. Top leg comes off just a little bit. Bend your knee, bring it right in front of your belly button and feel how the weight pulls. So you pull in rather than push down. Kick forward, bend it. Kick forward, bend it. We want to make sure that we definitely are working the hip, but more than that, feel it right there. Now then, kick forward, kick upward, forward, bend your knee. Here we go again. Kick forward, upward, forward, bend. Lengthen forward, use the side of your hip, forward, and bend in. Little change, kick forward, kick upward, kick downward towards your bottom leg. Around the side, or forward kick, sorry. Let's do a few of these. Downward, kick it forward, and downward. One more. Now, kick down and around the side, kick up, squeeze your heels together, pull down. Kick up, squeeze your heels, pull down. Kick up, squeeze your heels, pull down. This time, kick up, bend your knee, touch your knee in front, very gently kick it up. Try not to roll forward from here, and lift up, and touch. On this next one, kick up, but don't touch. Let's put the sequence all together, kicking forward smooth, 
fluidly up. Use the music counts if you can hear it. Take it down and back down to the bottom leg. Around the side. Knee touches so you just nice flow. Kick up. Don't touch here. Kick forward from one move to the other. Kick up. Bring it forward. Down to the bottom leg. Around the side. Strong kick. Knee touches. Kick up. Don't touch. We do it two more times. Kick it forward. Really nice hip socket work here. And abdominals kick down. Around the side. Anchor the bottom leg. Touch the knee. Kick up. Don't touch. Let's go one last time here. Kick it forward. Upward. Forward. Downward. Around the side. Touch the knee. Kick it up. Don't touch. And finish. Release your leg. Roll back onto your back now. This will be our series of five combination. If you've done my classes before, you know I always will throw in a series of five somewhere in class. This is done all out of order and with variations. And actually, we're going to do it all with the hands behind the head today. Placing the hands behind the head. Lift your shoulders. Bring your knees into your chest. Take your right leg up high and take your left leg forward long. Bracing the belly button down, anchoring the pelvis, top leg inward circle. Three times, two times, one more. Scissor bringing the left leg up. Inward circle, three, two, one more. Scissor the right leg back up. Outward circle now. Scissor, outward left leg. So this is a variation of the single straight leg stretch. Scissor, now keep stretching your legs in single straight leg. Scissor, keep your shoulders off. Usually you're grabbing that top leg. Now pedal backwards, scooping from the floor to the ceiling. Shoulders still up, finishing four counts. Three, two, bring your knees in and just relax your head for a second. So that's typically number three of our series. Single straight leg stretch. Lift your shoulders, belly button down. Take your left knee into your chest, extend your right leg forward. Now typically you hold your leg. Instead, support your head, but see if you can get your shoulders a little higher to your knee. Now switch legs. So you really feel that tightening of the whole belt line. Switch, four more. Switch, switch one more, keep the next knee in, flex your feet, keep your hands behind your head and lift. If this is too intense for back, take your bottom leg a little higher. If it feels good, hover it. If you want more challenge, take your front top leg forward slightly. Now lower your shoulders. You should be bracing like crazy in this hover crunch. Lift up, lower, so bottom leg can be higher for a little more support. Bent knee can be more bent for more support. Down, and as you come up, hold. Take your bottom leg, kick it higher. Lower, keep the feet flexed one more time. Lift and lower. Switch knees, flex feet, adjust the bent knee more forward for more challenge or more in for less. Bottom leg higher for less, lower for more. Now take your shoulders, drop them down. Engage, lift up. Shoulders down, engage, lift up. One more time, very, very deep and tense. Bottom leg kicks higher. Bottom leg kicks lower one more time, lift up. And down, bring the knees in, give it a little rest. Shake it off. This next exercise is the double leg stretch. This is typically number one. We usually grab our legs. Let's take the hands behind the head and lift the shoulders. Now bring the elbows right into your knees so you're deep contracted. And then from there, kick your legs forward, open your elbows, look up slowly. Remember, you can change the angle of your legs, pull back in. Now a little faster, kick and open, pull in. Kick to open, pull in two more times. Kick and open, lengthening is where you strengthen. And pull in, relax your shoulders and head. Keep your knees at your chest, hands behind head, elevate your shoulders. Kick your 
your legs to the ceiling. Push your legs forward. Lift upward. Knees inward. Kick up. So this is called the double straight leg stretch. Lift. And in two more. Extend. Kick. Lift. And in one more time. Extend up. Little variation of this move. Extend your legs up. Then straddle. Open. Down. Bring them up. Open. Straddle. Down. Around. One more time. Just once. Stop the momentum at the top and reverse. Push forward. Open the straddle. Two more. Push forward. Open the straddle. One more. Bring your knees to your chest. Relax your head and shoulders. The fifth of the series of five is the crisscross. Hands behind head. Lift. Let's take our right knee in and our left leg forward. Bringing the left elbow and across into the right knee, lifting tall. Now here we go. Switch sides. Switch. 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 Now a little variation. Switch one more time. Take your bottom leg kick up. In and circle forward. Switch elbows. Bottom leg kick up. In, kick forward. Switch elbows, bottom leg up, in circle, forward kick, last time. Up, in, forward kick, bring those knees into center, relax your head. Reach it above your head, reach and stretch it out nice and long. Flex your feet. Going into some teaser work, this is just a one-legged teaser on this one. As you bring your feet to the floor, Hands above your head. Slide your heels away from your hips a little. You're going to be coming up on your hip. If they're really close, you won't be able to get up. So positioning is important. Now take your right leg and extend it to a diagonal. You can even rest it next to the other knee. A lot of times I have you move very slowly, but sometimes we need to be able to react quickly. You know, you grab something or grab someone. So from here, you're going to come up quick and grab that straight leg. Come up and grab it. Hold it. Open up your posture. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Take it again quickly. Come up. Lift up through your chest. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Come up quickly and grab it. Open it and come down, down, down. One more time. Come up and grab. Up and lift. And come down. This time we're going to come up quick and grab it. Then take your right hand, open, twist. Come back to the leg, roll down. Same top side, up quickly, open to twist, center it, and come down. Again, come up quickly, open it, center it, and come down. Last time, come up quick, open it. Center and come down. Bring that same right leg into the chest with the bent knee. Keep your left leg away and bring the hands to the chest. Scooping to lift. Scoop, lift, down, scoop, in. Scoop, lift, down, scoop, in two more times. Down, scoop, once more. Lift and come in, reach the arms above your head. Place your right foot down. Left leg extends to diagonal. Right foot is away from your hips. Come up quick and grab the leg. Go up. Just stay there and lift. And come down. Come down. Come down. Come up quick and grab it. Lift it. And come down. Come down. Come down. Here we go again. Lift up. Lift it. Down. 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 One more time. Come up and grab it. Lift it and come down. This time as we come up and grab the leg, come up and grab it. Left arm opens to the side to twist. Center and come down. Come up quick. Grab open. Center and come down. Two more times. Come up quick. Open twist. Center and come down. Last time. Come up quick. Open, 
center and come down. Bring that knee into the chest. Slide that right heel away. Bring the hands into the chest to scoop the teaser. Scooping forward to go up. And down, scoop it in. Scoop it forward to come up. And down. Very smooth here. Forward. Lift. Once more. Lift. And hold. Bring your knees into your chest. Shake the tension out of your neck and head. Grab hold of your legs and start to rock backwards and forwards. And as you do that, come all the way up to seated. Flip yourself over onto your tummy. We've been on our back a lot, working the abdominals. Now we want to go into our tummy and work our back as our center. Just get some nice oppositional work, more balance work. As you bring yourself down to the mat, squeeze your legs together. Reach both arms forward. Feel the back of the neck long so it's neutral, it's not too high, it's not too low. Think in opposition. Right hand and left leg lift off. As you lift them, push down with the opposite arm and leg. So you feel that concept of push and then pull. Feel your low back and release down. Here we go again. As you lift your left hand and right leg, try to keep your arm right by the ear, right by the side of your ear, engage it and come down. A little faster. Lift, lower, push to pull, push down first and lower. Two more, push down, lift and lower. One more time, push down, lift up. Now a little change. Right hand, left leg, lift up, push down with the other. Push down hard with that left hand. Take that right hand to the side of your body. Take that right hand to the back of you, reaching and lifting, and take your leg a little higher, really engaging the back. Bring that hand back to the side, bring it to the front, and release everything down to the floor. Left hand, right leg, engage to lift as you push with the opposite, really push with the right hand. Open the left hand to the side of the body. Reach it back and lift the chest, reaching the leg up. Bring the hand back to the side, back to the front, and release down to the floor. Little change. Push down and then lift up with the right hand and the left leg. Now right now you're pushing hard with that left hand. You're going to take it off. So your anchor is going to be in your low back. Engage and lift. Feel your low back. This time the left hand goes to the side. All the way to the back left leg. Now lift upward and reach your fingertips apart. Take that hand back to the side. Back to the front. And release down to the floor. Lifting now the opposite side. Lift up with your left hand and your right leg. Push down with the right really hard. Now if you're going to lift that right hand off, you need to engage your back and your glutes. Lift off. Right hand around the side. Right hand to the back leg. Lift and reach, pulling the fingertips apart. Take it back to the side. Take it back to the front. And release down to the floor. Make elbows to the mat and fist with the hands. Push the floor away so you have the space between your ear and your shoulder. If you hear me say push the floor away, that's what you want to create, that feeling of push. Now focus on your legs. As you push your floor away, you're going to be working low back, glutes and hamstrings pretty deep here. Right toes go off. Bend the knee, hamstring curl. Extend your thigh heels lifted and release the foot. Push the floor away, left toes. Bend the knee, hamstring curl. Extend, lift the thigh and come down. Let's do it again, right side. Lift your toes. Bend your knee and squeeze. Lengthen it. Release it. Push the floor away. Lift your left leg. Bend and squeeze. Lengthen. Now with both legs at the same time. Push down, lift up with your toes. Bend and squeeze. Lengthen your thighs. Release the floor. Push down with your elbows. Lift your toes. Bend and squeeze. Lengthen. Release. Two more. Push down with your elbows. Lift your toes. Bend and squeeze. Lengthen. And release. One more time. Push down with elbows. Lift. Bend and squeeze. Lengthen. And release. Good. Keep the fist. Keep your elbows. Tuck your toes. Pull your pelvis off into your plank. With the fist, 
made of your hands, your pelvis low, let your head forward. Take the palm of your right hand to the floor, elbow, left palm of the hand, elbow, right palm, elbow, left palm. This is going to change a little bit. Right palm, take it to the side of your right leg and touch it. Palm, elbow, left palm, side of the leg, palm. Now go right from the fist to the side of the leg, right, elbow down, left, elbow down, right hand to side of the leg, push the floor away from the elbows, left hand, good, bring your knees into your chest and sit back to rest the back. Reach the hands forward, let your head drop. As you come up, now to your hands and knees. Line your hands up under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, your neck long with the back and the spine and the top of the head. Then extend your right leg behind you. And as you do a tricep push up, elbows hug the ribs, the leg will go higher, weight goes forward, chest down. Push it away. Three more, leg goes up, chest goes down, lift. Two more. Once more. Now with that right leg, kick to the side of you. Bring it back to the middle. Do it again. Side, middle, again, side, middle. One more. Now with that right leg, take your toes to the floor, keep your legs straight. Tuck the toes under so you can anchor. As you push with your hands, pull your knee upward into your chest and round your back. Now bring your nose to your knee and then lower the knee, lift the head. A little faster, push down with hands, lift up with knee. Lower, three more, push, pull. Lower, two more, push, pull. Lower, last one, push, pull. And lower, bring your knees down, release and sit back. Come up on your hands and knees. Lift the back of the neck, extend your left leg long behind you. Hands under shoulders, tricep push up, lift the leg. Lift, leg goes up, chest goes forward and down and up, two more. One time. Now kick your leg out to the side. Keep your neck long. Three more. Two more. And again, by the end of the workout, you will have felt like you worked the entire body, even though we never stood up. Take the foot down, tuck your toes, anchor them. Push down with your hands, pull up with your knee, pull your nose to your knee, and then bring your knee down and lift your head. Little faster, push to pull. Push, pull, release. Push, pull, release. Push, pull, release. One more time. Push, pull, release. Bring your knees in, sit back. Come up back on your hands and knees, hands on your shoulders. Knees under hip bones. Tuck the toes, bring your knees slightly off the ground. Now remember this position, we will come back to this where the knees are not touching. Lift your hips, pull back through your heels, head between the arms. Lift off through your heels, drop your knees, don't touch, head is forward. Lift, pull back. Lift, drop down, lift head. Now on this next one, lift your hips and pull back. But as you come down, soften your elbows like you're gonna do a little push up here. And push up, pull back. Lift up, soften elbows. Push up, pull back. One more time, lift up, drop and soften. Lift, push back. Bring the knees down and rest. As you come up now onto your hands and knees, little change of position. Take your left arm, slide it underneath your right arm so you're resting on your shoulder and the side of your head. 
Once you're in this position, your right hand is going to be a help anchor, and your left leg will be. As you lift your right knee, open it out to the side. Find your balance and feel what's going on. Feel the work going on in that center side, body, abdominals, leg, hip. Now extend your leg slowly to the side, kick. Bend it slowly back in. Feel how the weight of the leg is challenging the core center. Kick it forward and outward to the side. And back in. Little change, kick slowly forward. Feel the weight of the leg. Now keep your leg straight as you kick to the back. Now kick back to the side slowly. Now kick to the back. Little change, kick out to the side. Once it's there, figure eight your foot circle forward, backwards. So tighten it up, forward circle, backwards one more, and backwards. Bring your knees in, pull your arm out, reach your arms forward, and just rest. Come up onto your hands and knees. This time slide your right arm underneath and rest on your head and your shoulder. Left hand is an anchor. Pull your left knee up and open it. Before you do any movement, make sure you're stable. Then engage and kick your leg forward slowly. Bend it slowly. So we want to feel every wobble. When we feel it, we want to tighten up through this core center and bend it. This time kick to that side while slowly, but as you keep your leg straight, kick back to the back of you. And to the side. And to the back. This time as you kick to the side, hold it there. Figure eight a circle with your foot, tighten it up and go to the backward circle. Forward circle. Backwards circle, one more time forward, one more time backwards. Bring your knee in, set your knee down, bring your arm back out, sit back and rest. Good job, you guys. We have one more exercise left. It's funny, when I come to my classes and I don't use any toys or equipment and we know we're gonna use just us as our equipment, and we're gonna be on the ground with no standing. My class gets really nervous that I'm gonna do all planks. Notice I haven't done one full plank yet, but this is the one. This is your last exercise. This is the one plank in the class today. We've done some elbow planks and some bird dogs and things like that. Here's your full plank. Bring your hands to the mat. Take one foot back and then the other. Remember your position, you wanna be like you're standing up. So you wanna be straight in your back, not push out through your hips and your head forward. Take your right leg, cross it under the left, let your hips swivel that direction. Now identify your right knee and your left elbow and pull them together as you engage the inner thigh on your bottom leg and then push it back. So as you feel the obliques on the right side, the inner thigh on the left leg, come back, cross, two more. Pull, and step to cross one more time. Pull, you've got a lot going on here. And then cross, bring it back to center, sit back and rest. So the leg that's anchoring down, that's inner thigh. The knee that's pulling in, you're gonna feel that oblique muscle. Come up on your hands and knees. Come up. Cross now the opposite leg under my right. Turn and swivel your pelvis that direction. Now bring that right knee to your elbow. Engage, feel the inner thigh on your left leg and cross the foot back in. Now pull to the elbow, knee, bottom leg, and cross the ankles. Going two more times, pull, feel the oblique on the underside. Definitely working arms as well. Take it one more time, nice and strong, pull, and cross. As you uncross your feet, bend your knees, sit back, you are done. Let's do a few stretches here.
come up onto those hands and knees for some stretches. As you're on your hands and knees, take your right leg out to the side and then drop your elbows down. You'll start to feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Release your head and then very gently rock backwards and a little bit forward. You'll feel a little more stretch when you rock backwards. And then hold still. Take your hands now to the floor, lifting your head, and take that right leg a little more forward, but still more side. Walk your hands a little more forward, push your pelvis forward, and let's stretch that hip flexor on the back leg, and then this inner thigh adductor area on the right leg. But as you take that front foot, step back with it, and tuck the toes as you lengthen it. And then just rock backwards and forwards on the foot. Then hold it back, pushing the heel back, and take your left arm and reach it up with big rotation. It might feel good to drop the arm down. You might like to reach it up. Just kind of play with that stretch. And then bring the hand back down, bring the knees back in. Take the left leg out to the side and lower gently to your elbows as you pull back to the hip. That'll give you an inner thigh stretch here, releasing the back. Rock yourself very gently backwards and forwards. And then just come up onto those hands. Take that left leg a little more forward, bend it into a lunge and feel that knee connect to the floor on the back leg as you push this hip flexor through. This is gonna give you that nice stretch to the inside of the leg. So you had some upper body work today, some lower body, a lot of abdominals, some back work. Hopefully you felt like you worked your whole body as you step this front leg backwards, tuck the toes under, and just rock gently back and forward from your heel to your toes. Now keep your weight back through your heel and take your right arm and reach and open it. Then you might like to move your arm down, maybe up. Then just bring your hands down. Bring your feet forward. together. You can cross your legs, you can put the soles of your feet together, whatever is most comfortable for you. Take your ear over to your right shoulder and create space on your left side. Let your chin drop forward. And then let your ear go to the left shoulder, creating that space. Let your chin drop forward. And as you lift upward, feel the space in your shoulder and your ears, and then curve backwards. As you lengthen to lift upward, create the space, and then push backwards. As you lift up again, reach your arms behind your back, lengthen your legs, open up your chest, your shoulders, your chin, your heart. And then reach over your legs, reaching forward. Lift your head, cross your right foot over the left, wrap your left arm around it. Right arm behind your back, lift and twist. Bring the chest back to center, switch legs. Wrap your arm, reach behind, lift and then twist. Come back 
to center. Find that comfortable position in your legs again, and then do a side bend. Reach whatever hand you had above your head to a forward diagonal. And then open it, and the other side reaches over. Again, a great class. We do not require a lot of space. I'm right between my dresser and my bed right here. Reach that forward diagonal. And you can work your whole body. Lift up. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands to your heart to exhale. And there's your math Pilates class for the day. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out my YouTube channel, Fitness with Jen Allen. There's a whole bunch of videos you can choose from with a lot of variety. Come back and see me again soon. Thanks for joining me today.